Welcome to the next aspect of design of pipeline and as uh, you know that we were discussing about the natural gas transmission. Let us have a brief outlook that what we discussed uh, in the previous uh, lecture. We discussed about the various flow regimes like fully turbulent flow, rough pipe flow, partially turbulent flow uh, with the uh, smooth pipe flow, pressure drop calculation. Uh, we discussed the, both the cases like pipeline in series and pipeline in parallel and uh, we discussed about the pipeline segmental looping. Now, in this particular lecture, we are going to discuss about the natural gas transmission uh, with the pipeline gas velocity, then erosional velocity. Apart from this, we will discuss about the optimum pressure drop for design, we will discuss about the pipeline packing how we can determine the gas leakage, uh, what is the concept of wall thickness and pipe grade. In this we will discuss about the relationship in between wall thickness and design pressure. Apart from this we will discuss about the temperature profile. So, let us discuss about the pipeline velocity. Now, the gas velocity in a pipeline uh, can be obtained by us is equal to qs upon a where u s is equal to gas velocity at any section, q s is equal to gas flow rate at any section and a is equal to cross sectional area. Now, if we take up the steady state condition, so under st steady state condition Q B rho B is equal to Q S rho S and rho S is equal to P S M upon T S R and rho B is equal to P B M upon T B R. So, rho, rho B upon rho S is equal to P B T s upon T b P s. Now, if uh, we take a is equal to pi d square upon 4. So, if we combine uh, these equations, we get u s is equal to q b upon pi d square upon 4 P b T s upon T b P s. Now, if we substitute uh, P B is equal to 14.7 P S I and T B is equal to say 520 degree Rankine uh, and the flowing gas temperature T S is equal to 520 Rankine. So, we have U S is equal to 0 0.75 Q B upon d square p, where u s is equal to gas velocity at any segment, q b is equal to gas flow rate at base condition, p is equal to pressure at any section and d is equal to pipeline inside diameter. This uh, equation uh, gives good estimation of uh, gas velocity in pipeline at any segment. Now, if flowing gas temperature is different, if flowing gas temperature is different from T B, then U S is equal to 0 0.75 T F Q B upon T B D square P, where T F is equal to flowing gas temperature and T B is equal to base temperature. Now, if uh, we consider the compressibility factors effect, then U s would be 0 0.75 T f Q b z 
अपॉन टी बी डी स्क्वायर पी और यू एस इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन फोर फोर टी एफ क्यू बी जेड अपॉन डी स्क्वायर पी नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द इरोजनल वेलोसिटी नाउ वेन फ्लूड विद हाई वेलोसिटी पासिस थ्रू द पाइप लाइन इट कैन कॉज बोथ वाइब्रेशन एंड इरोजन इन द पाइप लाइन विच रिजल्ट इन इरोड द पाइप वॉल ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम नाउ इफ गैस वेलासिटी एक्सीड्स द इरोजनल वेलासिटी ऑफ द पाइप लाइन देन द इरोजन ऑफ द पाइप लाइन वॉल विल इंक्रीज सो टू द रेट दैट कैन रिड्यूस द लाइफ ऑफ पाइप लाइन एंड दैट इज वाई इट इज रिकमेंडेड टू मेनटेन द गैस वेलासिटी बिलो द इरोजनल वेलासिटी नाउ इरोजनल वेलासिटी कैन बी एक्सप्रेस एज वेलासिटी यू ई इज इक्वल टू सी अपॉन रो टू दावर हाफ नाउ वे वे आर यू ई इज द इरोजनल वेलासिटी एंड रो इज द गैस डेंसिटी एंड सी इज द कॉन्स्टेंट डिफाइंड इन द रेंज ऑफ सेवेंटी फाइव लेस देन सी वन फिफ्टी Uh, the recommended value for gas transmission in the pipeline is hundred. So, if we substitute the value of C M is equal to twenty nine G and gas density in this uh, particular equation, then we have rho is equal to P M upon Z R T. The erosional velocity. will become u e s is equal to 100 upon square root of 29 g p z r t the recommended value for the gas velocity in the gas pipeline is normally 40% to 50% of the erosional value now here g is the gas gravity and this is dimensionless p is the minimum pipeline pressure z is the compressibility factor at given temperature and pressure which is dimensionless r is equal to 10.73 ft cube into psi Ponds, moles into into Rankine. Now this is uh, the the usual value of uh, R. Now let's talk about the optimum pressure drop for design. Now it is uh, most important factor used to design the cost effective system. The maintaining of optimum pressure drop uh, along each section of the pipeline system is necessary. to minimize the required facilities and operating expenses including pipeline compressor and fuel consumption cost uh, people have performed a lot of studies uh, over the pipeline system design now department of trans canada pipeline they have pressure measured the pressure drop of uh, say 15 to 20 kilo pascal per kilometer which is they found to be optimum now pressure drop uh, out of range either below 15 kilo pascal and above 25 kilo pascal can result in variation of extra equipment installation and fuel cost uh, respectively so the economics would be on the different side now uh, if we take the gas pipeline in the trans uh, let's take the gas pipeline transporting gas from uh, section 1 to section 2 with the pressure p1 and p2 respectively will have some natural gas packed inside at an average pressure of p average so the volume of gas packed inside the pipeline can be determined using the equation this p average v is equal to nt z average r t average now p average is equal to 2 upon 3 p1 plus p2 minus P1, P2 upon P1 plus plus P2. Now 
T average is equal to T1 plus T2 upon 2 and V is equal to pi D square upon 4 L, where P average is equal to average pressure, D is equal to pi inside diameter, L is the pipeline length and T is equal to total number of moles of gas, Z average is average compressibility factor, R is gas constant, gas constant, T average is the average gas temperature. Now, the total number of moles, number of moles and T packed between 0 0.1 uh, 1 and 0 0.2 uh, at average pipeline condition is given as N T is equal to pi D square P average L upon 4 Z average R T average. Now, the, then the gas volume V B existing in the pipeline at base condition that is P is equal to 14.7 psi and T is equal to 520 Rankine. So, V B is equal to N T R T average upon P average that is comes out to be V B is equal to N T into 10.73 into 520 upon 14.7. Now, for accurate calculation of storage capacity at uh, packed and unpacked condition, one may use the, the clandestine equation. Now, let us talk about uh, the uh, determination of gas leakage. Now, the determination of gas leakage using the pressure drop method. The pressure drop method can be used to determine the volume of uh, uh, gas that will escape from pipeline uh, due to the leakage which uh, you can see uh, over in this particular figure. Now, here we are having a length of pipeline say 1 mile and initial P 1 and P 2 um, the condition and diameter of the pipeline is D. So, at T is equal to 0 uh, suppose this is a gas leakage port and after 1 hour then you need to find out that the, uh, the amount of gas leakage or determination of the gas leakage over the period of time say 1 hour. So, how you can calculate this? Then in that case number of moles of gas in pipeline at T is equal to 0 that is P 1 V 1 is equal to N 1 R T 1, where P 1 is the initial pressure, V 1 is the initial gas volume, N 1 is the initial number of moles, R is the gas constant and T 1 is the initial gas temperature. Now, if inside pipeline diameter is D, and pipeline length is L, then P 1 pi D square upon 4 L is equal to N 1 R T 1. So, the number of moles of gas initially in the line is N 1 is equal to pi D square L P 1 upon 4 R T 1. That is the number of moles of gas initially in the line. Now, if after 1 hour say T is equal to 1 hour say after 1 hour of leakage the volume um, uh, of the gas in the pipeline is reduced to P 2 V 2 is equal to N 2 R T 2 and P 2 pi 
d square d is the diameter upon pi d square upon 4 l is equal to n 2 r t 2 or you can say that n 2 is equal to pi d square l p 2 upon 4 r t 2. So, the amount of gas escaped due to leakage can be obtained as n is equal to n 1 minus n 2. So, if we substitute the values of n 1 and n 2, then we get n 2 is equal to pi d square L upon 4 R P 1 upon T 1 minus P 2 upon T 2. So, the volume of gas gas escaped to atmosphere at standard condition is V B is equal to N R T B upon P B. Therefore, P B V B upon R T B is equal to pi D square L upon 4 R P 1 T 1 P 2 over T 2. So, after putting the values of constant to say and substitute the R, then we can get 14.7 into V B upon 520 is equal to 5280 into pi D square upon 4 into P 1 over T 1 minus P 2 over T 2. Now, if uh, say if uh, length of the pipeline is L is equal to 5280 feet and leakage up to 1 year is that is 8640 hours then VB is equal to 8.797 into D square into P1 upon T1 minus P2 upon T2. Now, this equation gives the volume of gas escaped due to leakage from 1 mile of pipeline over the period of 1 year. This is also applicable if a small change is occurred in temperature and pressure. Now, if we include the compressibility factor, then it becomes V B is equal to 8.797 into D square into P 1 Z 1 T 1 minus P 2 Z 2 T 2. Now, uh, let us think about the wall thickness and pipe grade. The wall thickness of gas transmission pipeline varies with pipe uh, grade, location and design pressure. The design pressure is specified by the system designer for the specific location, it should not less than the maximum operating pressure at the location of all forces are considered. The wall thickness and uh, material selected should provide the adequate strength to prevent deformation and collapse by handling stresses, external reactions and thermal expansion and contraction. Wall thickness and pipe grades. Now, according to pipeline code. ANSI ASME uh, B31.8 or CSA Z662.96, the stress design requirement to be considered are limited to normal design condition for operating pressure, thermal expansion and contraction ranges, temperature differential and other forces acting on the pipeline. The additional loading may include slope and fault movement, seismic related earth movement, uh, thaw settlement, frost have const, uh, construction and maintenance deformation and mechanical shocks etcetera. Now, um, we need to establish the relationship between the wall thickness and design pressure. The equation uh, which relates the relationship between the wall thickness and design pressure 
it can be derived from the force balance on pipe segment under the specified design pressure. Now, here we have shown this uh, thing. Now, this is uh, the uh, pipe length and force uh, it is acting over here and uh, this one this one is F 1 and F 2 with the diameter internal diameter is D i. Uh, now, this we uh, try to establish the relationship. So, force exerted now again I am redrawing the figure. Now, here this is uh, F 2 and this one is F 1 and uh, diameter is d i with the a length l and uh, the internal diameter is d i and outer diameter is d o. So, force f 1 exerted on pipe wall due to design pressure is F 1 is equal to pi d naught L p design. Now, force F 2 the pipeline minimum yield strength over the thickness F 2 is equal to S pi d naught L minus pi d i L. This is d o that is the outer diameter. F 2 is equal to S pi d o plus 2 t L minus pi d i that is the internal diameter. Now, on balancing force uh, F 2 and F 1 we have F 1 is equal to F 2 and that is 2 S pi L t and that is equal to pi d o L p design. Now, design pressure that is p design is equal to 2 S t upon d o where p design is the pipeline design pressure S is a specified minimum yield strength of pipe in pressure unit T is pipeline thickness and D O is pipeline in outside diameter. Now, after, in, after considering hmm, all these safety factors, the design pressure can be given as P design 2 S T upon D O F L J and T, where F is the design factor, L is the location factor, J is the joint factor and T is the temperature correction factor or temperature derating factor. Now, the Canadian Standard Association CSA they recommend uh, the following values uh, like uh, the design factor F is equal to 0 0.80, the location factor L depends upon both population and other factors such as roads, railways, uh, various stations, gas stations or railway stations or bus station etcetera. The values for them 
uh, which are as given like class 1 when the location is desert so value of L <coughs> is equal to 1.00 class 2 when uh, we are considering the village then the values value of L is 0 0.90 class 3 its city um, then L is 0 0.70 and the class 4 city which is densely populated uh, the value of L is 0.55. Similarly, uh, the joint or welding factor which is uh, given as uh, in different uh, types like seamless, the joint factor J is 1.00, electric welded then again joint factor is uh, 1.00 and if we say the submerged arc welded then again the joint factor is 1.00 and if we take the furnace butt welded then the joint factor is 0.60. Then uh, the temperature correction factor, the temperature correction factor for grass transmission lines based on ASME B318, the temperature in Fahrenheit that is up to 250, the temperature correction factor T is 1.00 uh, up to say 300 then 0 0.97, 350, 0 0.93, 400 carries the temperature correction factor 0.91 and 450 the temperature correction factor is 0.87. Now let us talk about the heat transfer from buried gas pipeline. Again uh, we are having a gas flow rate over here with the Q small q and then T1 the temperature and the T2 at the outlet temperature. This is the pipeline coating and uh, this is the pipeline thickness. Now, assume the, the ground or the soil temperature Tg to be constant over the length of pipeline which is approximately L. Now temperature um, has a considerable influence uh, on economic and technical evaluation involved in the design of pipeline and related facilities. Now this method fails when so, uh, soil pipe environment interaction information is required for time and temperature dependent parameters. Uh, we are having the set of equations that provide the comprehensive formulation of uh, computing a steady state temperature profile along a pipeline. Now if we consider a segment of transmission line between point 0.1 to point 0.2, <coughs> assuming the ground and soil temperature is Tg, then energy equation dq is equal to minus dot m c p d t. Now heat transfer equation that is d q is equal to u d a t minus t g. Now if we combine heat and energy equation we have minus m dot c p d t is equal to u d a t minus t g where q is heat transfer rate dot m is the, the gas mass flow rate c p is gas average heat capacity, U is overall heat transfer coefficient, T is gas temperature at any segment, Tg is ground temperature. Now if we rearrange the things and integrating from T1 to T2, then T1 to T2 dt upon T minus Tg is equal to minus U upon dot M C P A or T2 minus Tg is equal to T1 minus Tg e to the power minus U A 
upon dot m c p where a is equal to pi d l d is equal to outside pipe diameter and l is length of pipe. Now, as length increases this factor approaches to 0. So, T 2 tends to T g this means that uh, for long pipelines the gas temperature cools closer to ground temperature over the length of pipeline. Now, on substituting the value of d a is equal to pi d, d l and dividing by divided by dot m c p we have d t is equal to pi u d dot m c p t minus t g d l minus j d l. Now, let, uh, let us assume that uh, u and c p are constant. So, a is equal to pi u d m c p. Now, d t is equal to a d l t minus t g minus j. Now, if we uh, rearrange the things and uh, taking integral from point 1 to 2, then t 1 to t 2 integration d t upon t minus t g plus j upon a, j is a joule Thomson coefficient is equal to L 1 to L 2 minus a d L and that is equal to t 2 is equal to t 1 minus t g plus j upon a, a is a constant uh, value for constant u and c p upon e a l plus t g minus j upon a. Now, here t 1 is the inlet gas temperature, t 2 is the exit gas temperature, T g is the ground temperature, J as I told you the Joule Thomson coefficient, A is a constant for U and C p. To find out the heat passes from the pipe coating to the soil in case of buried pipeline, Q is equal to K s T minus T g. Now, s the conduction shaped factor is equal to 2 pi L upon H upon R, where K is soil thermal conductivity, S is the conduction shaped factor for buried pipes, T g already discussed that ground temperature, H is the distance from center of pipe to ground surface and R is the pipe radius. Now, so in this particular chapter, we discussed uh, the various uh, aspect related to the natural gas uh, uh, transmission and we discuss about the various design factors. Now, in case if you need any further assistance, we have enlisted one reference for your convenience. Thank you very much.